a journey into sound. What up, what up, how the hell we all live it? Today I'm not doing anything special, so seeing that I'm out here on this western, eastern walk, whatever it's called, and I've got these two tripods on me, I'm just gonna talk about which one I prefer and why. So first, this is the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom. And second, this is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2. This one retails for around $100. This one retails for around $65-ish. So first is durability. I would say this is more durable out of the, the two tripods. When you first buy this tripod, it's very good. But after some months, the uh, joints will start developing tiny cracks and once you develop one of these little cracks the tripod's practically useless because if you use it on a slippery surface the tripod will basically just spread out spread eagle if you put your camera on it and the weight just pushes it down while this tripod can only open to this much which is the lowest stance or you can have it a bit higher like this so it's either that or that which is really low and stable all right so versatility which tripod is more versatile for your vlogging uses I would say this is way more versatile because you can wrap it around poles handrails you can bend it into like a, a uh, selfie stick which is quite long and it acts as like a little camera stabilizer because of its weight compared to this one it's basically weighs nothing it's just plastic and a bit of aluminium 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 let's talk ball heads i would say that the ball head on this hands down is way better than this because first of all this tightening knob is like a weird awkward triangle shape which i really don't like while this ball head has like a circle knob which is really good and it's so much more responsive in tightening the, the ball head it's also got a fluid head which you can use for panning shots, but I didn't use it very much. The JB Gorillapod ball head also comes with a quick release, which also has an inbuilt level, spirit level. It's quite good if you don't have the digital level in your camera. Whereas the Manfrotto Pixie Evo, it does not have a quick release. You have to screw this to get your camera off. And if you've got your camera on and you bend this, kind of bends as you can see I'm not putting much pressure on it though this ball head is tough as balls like it's just so sturdy it's an aluminium ball head compared to this one which is mostly plastic it's pretty much all plastic actually the only thing that is metal is this ball that's what makes this tripod so light compared to this one now which tripod would I pick if I could only have one and that is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo mainly because of its sturdiness I've had this camera drop too many times because of, it, because of this flopping over so this is the choice and like you can still use this as a selfie stick you just have to grab the legs evenly because if you don't they kind of sandwich like this so if you grab them evenly like this it's a good handle and you can use it like that. They're basically the same length as you can see, but this is much more grippy for using as a selfie stick while this is just slippery plastic, but you can easily fix that with just some plastic dip or something like that. So yeah, that's my dodgy review of these two tripods. I hope it helps you decide if you're looking at these two. I would personally go for this, just saying.